Hey guys, it's Irish again. In my second i3 video, I said that I would do a, an install of i3 Window Manager from a bare bones to what I had uh, before I switched into the Conkey. So right now, I decided to go on to Linux Mint uh, to do this because you know it's a, a Ubuntu based, and I figured you know a lot of uh, distros out there are based off of Ubuntu and everything else like that. Uh, I have done this on Ubuntu, but I ran into a uh, a bug uh, in Simple Screen Recorder that it just would not record my sound. So decided to do this on the latest Linux Mint. So if we open up our terminal, and you just need to type in sudo apt-get install i3 which does include the D menu so uh, if you're doing this through an Ubuntu you don't need to do uh, D menu but if you're doing this on Arch or Fedora it does not come pre-bundled so you will have to also install D menu to get i3 working so you want also i3 status and then i3 lock and the i3 lock is for uh, uh, in part 3 of my video where I'll show you how to do a uh, a shortcut on you just do like a, a mod F2 and then everything will you'll be able to shut down uh, your distro from a quick key combination instead of having to type in sudo power off or sudo reboot so this was just uh, much easier then we also need Compton which will give us our transparency in our terminal and then also nitrogen which is also our background, our wallpaper. So if we just do that, type in our password really quick, and click yes. This should take a very a few seconds. And this will be very quick. Uh, while this is doing it, just so in the next uh, episode that I can uh, show you how um, how nitrogen works. We'll just get a a cool uh, wallpaper off of uh, Yahoo or something like that. So uh, let's go to Yahoo site. I'm sorry, the Google site, and then we'll just type in uh, Pac-Man wallpapers, and we'll just do this one. So if we just save this image as, and then go into pictures, okay. So once everything is done with, excuse me, so once everything is uh, accounted for, you see that i3 window manager, i3 lock, status, Compton, nitrogen, and then D menu should be included in here. Uh, just uh, in case, I'll just uh, add that. D menu is D and then menu. So it does not look like it is installed. Okay, it looks like it's installed. So that does it for this uh, this video. This was going to be a quick one. Uh, the next three videos will be uh, showing you how to install to get the font that I use, which is Font Awesome, and then how to configure your colors, uh, the position of the bar and then uh, anything else that I can think of. Also volume and brightness controls. So that does it for this episode, uh, for this video, excuse me, and I will see you guys next time.